everyone, it's me, X and today I'm gonna be showing you guys my top 10 G1 ponies to start off this series of videos about my My Little Pony collection so that I can introduce them to you guys so I can just make pony videos and it'll just be normal, okay? Um, so My Little Pony has been a huge part of my life forever. It was one of the first thing, or G3 ponies were like my favorite toys as a kid. I loved them. I moved on to Little's Pet Shops and then after Little's Pet Shops I ultimately stopped collecting, buying, playing with toys for a while. This was when I was 10 years old. Um, and then, around 10, I mean. Um, and then I fell in love with G4 of My Little Pony around early 2011, if not late 2010, and it caused me to become a toy collector. So it was G4 My Little Pony that did this to me. <laughs> um, and because of the G4 My Little Ponies, I got my G3s out again, fell back in love with them, and then I was doing more research and learning more about My Little Pony and that's when the G1s came into my brain and I was obsessed with them. There's this website called PonyLandPress.com, it's actually still up. I fell in love with that website, I loved looking through all the ponies, I loved looking through their little pony town posts, I just absolutely loved them and it really inspired me to get into them so now I have a lot. Um, G1 is actually one of my bigger collections, I bought up several people's collections. Around 2013 to 2014, when I was getting more serious about toy collecting, my dad opened up a vintage toy store in Houston. He is not the owner anymore, but the store is still open to this day. Um, and my job there was to fix up the toys, and I would get to keep the G1 My Little Ponies that I didn't already have that came through the door, so that's where I got quite a few of them. But also we would go to toy shows and stuff to look for toys for his store, as well as to exhibit toys and like sell them at the shows. And I found a lot of ponies that way, so I bought three separate collections from those toy shows, um, and I've gotten them thrifting, I've gotten them at garage sales, stuff like that, so all of this is secondhand, obviously. <laughs> um, I've never bought any explicitly on eBay, I've never just googled this pony and then bought it on eBay for G3 at all, or sorry, for G1 at all. These are all thrift finds, or family members gave them to me, stuff like that. Um, I wanted to show you guys, I actually did have two G1, or, yeah, G1 ponies as a kid. I had Rain Curl. I believe I got these at garage sales because my mom told me that she hated them when I was a kid. Like, she did not like them, so I guess I must have gotten them secondhand or something because she wouldn't have gone out of her way to buy them. And then this is Buttons, so Soft Buttons. So these were the only two ponies that I had as a kid from G1. I really loved So Soft Buttons specifically. She was cool too, but her hair was really bad. It's still not great. I actually got one ringlet to stay, but the rest have not. I've ordered tools to actually be able to do their hair correctly. <laughs> um, her hair is also not great either, but I just loved, right here specifically, she had the softest little I thought she was so pretty um, and I never really thought of them as different than the G3s so to a kid they were close enough that I just assumed they were My Little Ponies. Um, anyway, intro out of the way. Sorry, I have to give the intro because I really have never shown these before. I had a couple of videos like six or seven years ago showing them but I doubt any of you guys were around at the time and watched them and they were terrible videos. Oh my gosh, I filmed them on my little my tiny, remember when touchscreen phones first came out? I had that phone up until like 2013, so that was the little phone I used to record my videos on. Ooh, it was rough. Anyway, let's get started with the top 10 list. So these are in a relative order, but a lot of these placements are arbitrary. Like the top four could really be interchanged. The bottom four could be interchanged. I'm really bad at, I'm really indecisive with top anything lists. So why do I make them? <laughs> I don't know. I need an excuse to talk about toys, so anyway, let's get started. So the first one is Sweet Notes. I love this pony. This one uh, is definitely a more recent acquisition, like this was not one of my first G1s, and this is one of the later G1s. I believe this is a year nine pony. I'm gonna have the years all wrong, like I'm probably not gonna say them for most of the ponies. But the thing that I love about this pony is that she has crimped hair. It's still crimped, it's not as crimped as it should be, but it's so soft and pretty, and it looks so good. I actually put this one in a little ponytail because I just, I fell in love with this pony. She was my first one. I actually have another one now. I have this one as well, but her hair isn't crimped at all anymore, if it's supposed to be anyway. Can't recall. Um, but I just love this pony. I think her colors are so cool, it's so bright. And pictures of this pony online, she's not this vibrant. I think mine is uh, exceptional 
or it's just that cameras can't quite capture her beauty. I don't know. Sorry, my nose is a little bit itchy. Um, and I love her symbol. It's so paisley and fun and very 80s for a pony that came out in like 89. <laughs> but isn't she so, so cool? I really like her and she has like makeup on and also this is one of my best condition G1 ponies. I think she's like pristine. There is not a scratch on her. She's just magnificent. I know, I think these are probably, I haven't really seen people talk about these actually, but I feel like these are probably pretty um, controversial. Like I bet a bunch of people absolutely hate them, but I think she's so pretty, I don't know. And I don't like the other one as much, so I think it really is just this neon yellow and pink color scheme that just, mwah. she also has a pink streak. She's just so pretty. And this is my standard for crimped hair in dolls now, so almost no toys ever come meet to this standard. Except Cave Club did, just saying. Anyways, next up is one of my favorite gimmicks that G1 ever did. It's just that none of the color schemes ever really spoke to me. I believe I actually have the full set of them. I don't know, I have a lot of them. But um, this is the Brush and Grow Brilliant Bloom. This is actually a Princess Brush and Glow, which was the year after Normal Brush and Glow, I believe. Um, I love this pony. She was like one of my favorites for a long time and I still really love her. So basically how these ponies work, well, she's... She's like a light purpley pink, which I don't like this color particularly because they use it on like every pony, but I think this pony is just exceptional. Um, and she has blue and purple and white in her tail. And then her mane is pink and blue and purple with tinsel. And I love tinsel, so I'm happy with it. Like, look, after 40 years, the tinsel is still pristine. It's amazing. Less than 40. Obviously, she didn't come out in exactly 1980, you know, I'm just generalizing. Probably 30 years. Anyway, um, the way these ponies work is that they have this head that moves so you can crank it. You gotta do it kind of fast. And then you can pull the tail out more. It's kind of, you were supposed to brush it and it would come out. I love that. This pony is so cool. And then the princess ones are different from the normal brush and glow, brush and grows because they have this little gem. I just, this pony is really pretty. I like her symbol. I like her theming. I really like her color scheme. She's just easily on the favorites list. I don't know. So gorgeous. But I have several brush and grows that could have made the list. Like, I do really like this one. I just don't like her um, pose as much. I don't know. This is just a really good G1 pose. I'm trying to look. It's not on the list again, though. Don't worry. <laughs> um, anyways, next up, you already saw this pony, but it's so soft buttons. She had to be on the list. It's not just because of the nostalgia, but it is partially that. But I just love this pony. I love her color scheme. I would love to get another one to deflock because the the flocked ponies have really bright colors underneath in order to make the color show through the flocking. I don't know. Luckily, I kept this pony pretty much perfect. I did that um, in like 2010. I don't know why I did that. I remember doing it though. Idiot. Um, hopefully I can get some flocking powder and just cover it up. Um, but she's so pretty and I love her. I love how bright her hair is and I really need to fix it because this isn't, this is hair that can be fixed with heat easily. I just haven't done it yet. Um, and then the So Soft Ponies mostly are a miss for me because the colors are always very doled out by the fuzz, but I just loved it when I was a kid. Like these are truly a gimmick that just, maybe it's not the best for collectors or adults, but for kids, this is fantastic. I had so much fun with this pony and that's, the, the best thing about G1 to me is that they really played with gimmicks with, it's like, this pony has a gimmick, she's soft, but she still can sit with your other ponies at the dinner table and not be a freak. <laughs> or like, not a, even like the, the ponies like the lion, Kingsley, or Kingsley and Creamsicle and stuff, they can sit at the pony and not be totally out of place, but a lot of the gimmicks in G3, for example, Lily Lightly just has this enormous dress and cannot sit at the table with the others. She just doesn't go. So like, it's a beautiful pony and I love that pony, but she just doesn't fit in with the others. Whereas with G1, every single gimmick can line up next to the, each other on the shelf and you're like, okay, these are all G1 ponies. I don't know. And then for G4, it got even worse because you have those ones with the weird walking and ones that are he like really wide because they have the lights in them. It just didn't feel as cohesive to me, but with G1, they're all really cohesive. I'm really impressed by it when I look back at the whole collection of G1s because you have so many different gimmicks and they're all really fun in my opinion. I love the ones that whip their little tails around so that they dance. I think that's Dance and Prance and there's babies and there's teensy babies and there's first tooth babies which are really weird but still the only G1 ponies that I feel like failed for me are the even the walking G1s are actually amazing like the I don't know she's over there so you can't really see her. I think her name's Tippy Toes or something. She's all the way over there. You can't see her. Hang on. 
Nope, she's behind the Pokemon VHSs, so. Um, the ones that walked, they were babies and they were dancers. I don't know. I thought her, I thought, I think her name's like Tippy Toe or something. Tiptoe? I don't know. The only two ones I feel that don't really fit are the Betty by Eye Ponies. We've heard enough. Ugh. I, some people really like those, though, so I don't know. Um, alrighty, next up is, ah, uh, is this High Flyer? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm debating now. Can't remember if this is a summer ring or a windy wing. This is the only one I have. I found her at a thrift store on her own and I was like, ka -ching! yes, I really want that. These are the only ponies really that I've considered actually just going on eBay and purchasing, but they're kind of expensive and I love them. Oh my gosh, they're butterfly ponies. So you have the flutter ponies, which are fairy ponies and these are butterfly ponies. I love them. Unfortunately, these ones never had a place in the show. Most of the gimmick ponies didn't, but the flutter ponies did, but they're not really, sh it had a show, but I mean the movie, the big movie with the smooths and stuff. But anyway, I love this pony so much. Oh my gosh. Um, she has her little dragonfly cutie mark or symbol, they used to call them symbols. Um, which I feel like if I was little and had this pony, my mom would have loved her. Or like my mom did have G1 ponies as a kid. She didn't have these ones though. But like, I bet this would have been a favorite of hers because my mom loves dragonflies and she's a butterfly pony and she's purple and blue. She's so pretty. This, this pony just reminds me of my mom for some reason. More than Princess Misty does. Misty is my mom's name, but she didn't like Princess Misty. I showed her. She was like, well, anyway, speaking of princesses, I think, oh wait, the princess movie is the only one that I have. <laughs> I found this at a thrift store. I love that they use this logo and not the actual one, but like, this is a 2006 print. It's got the golden horseshoes and the princess ponies. Have y'all seen this special, by the way? Oh my God. Why right? I should be queen. No one can compare. I'm so sorry. Anyway, Princess Tiffany. I don't have her hat. I actually do have several princess hats, but they're all in my like pony accessory bin of doom. So don't even ask about that. But I don't think I have hers and I don't have any bush woolies. I would really like some, but Princess Tiffany. Oh my gosh. I love this pony so much. I love the big metal symbols. They're so tacky and perfect. I, I like them a lot. And the big rhinestones inside. And this pony is monochrome white. I love this. I don't think they've ever done this again. I have a custom pony that's monochrome white and I have the design of pony blank G G3. And those are the only all white ponies. Why didn't they do this more? It's so beautiful. I love her big blue eyes. They really pop out on the pony. She's so cute. <laughs> She's so cute. She actually should probably be in my top three, to be honest, but she didn't make it for some reason. Um, and the blush. I, I really love the G1 ponies have the blush. It's just this extra detail that I think looks really good. Isn't she just gorgeous? I don't really have much to say. It's just like, wow. And also Tiffany's like the perfect name because of the jewelry. Company. Is it a jewelry company? I might be wrong. I've always thought it was a jewelry company. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I feel like if this one isn't on someone's top 10 list, they're lying. <laughs> Anyways, um, number, I haven't even been telling you the numbers. That was number six. Number five, uh, I'm actually switching right now, is Wizard. I really like Wizard. Wizard is a strange pony. Like, the symbols, those little screwball type, or what are those hats called? With the little spinny thing on top, I don't know, I, I forgot. What a strange theme. And then she's a twinkle eye pony. I love the twinkle eye ponies. I think these were everybody's favorite. I've heard unanimously from collectors that these are like the one they liked as kids and that doesn't surprise me. I think the story in the show was like horrifying for them though, right? Like. It's that they were enslaved and forced into mines and then the crystals got stuck in their eyes and now they have crystal eyes. Isn't it something like that? It's like actually horrifying. That's why I love the G1 show. It's just like uncharacteristically terrible. Like, I mean like terrible, like terrifying. Like it's a good, I actually like the movies in the show. I think they're good, but like, they're horrible. They're like, what the heck? That's, 80s shows don't have this weird gender role situation. Sometimes they do, but like, you could have the girl show where they're like getting enslaved. It's fine. I love that. I <laughs> I always thought the show was so amazing when I first started watching it in like 2010. I was like, <laughs> are y'all seeing this? Um. Anyway, 
all of that aside, Wizard is just a very pretty pony. I didn't pick any of these based on their positions in the show. If I had, almost none of these would be on the list, because almost none of these actually show up in the show. I, I, I keep saying show just out of habit. It's a series of movies and then a little TV show. I don't know. And then G1.5, I don't even have any of those ponies. The ponytails ones. I do love My Little Ponytails though, it's hilarious. They're just in a high school, just being people. There's, it's completely inconsequential that they're ponies. Okay, we're back to the video. This is Wizard. Um, she's really, really pretty. I have quite a few Twinkle Eye Ponies actually, like you can see them up there. I, I think I'm only missing like two from the first set because I have gingerbread and I have, twi uh, yeah, I have a lot of them, but Wizard's just so cute. I keep saying I don't like pink ponies, but here we are, another pink one, but she's like this brighter pink color I find really pretty. She's a Pegasus. I love the G3, G1 Pegasus ponies, and then she has this purple, blue, and this really neat green color that I don't really see very often in her hair, and I love the way that the colors look all together. And then her tail, I recently curled it, but it all fell out. I need to figure out what I'm doing, because it didn't really work. Um, and I, this pose is one of my favorites. I know it's not really on this list. It's only on this list one time, but this is a really good pose. I think it's really pretty that they're like, they're like daintily on the the pony equivalent of a tiptoe. I guess like the, the base of their little hoof. It just looks like they're about to take off and fly. And I think that's so pretty. And also this is a really versatile pose for playing. Like I feel like this pose is less play withable than this pose. I don't know. Play withable is really the thing I just said. Anyways, number uh, four. I love this pony, and it's very obvious why. It's Baby Princess Sparkle. <sighs> she's sparkly. That's all it takes, y'all. She's like she's sparkly. She's got like symbols everywhere, like a like a Sailor Moon pony, and like their symbol is a castle in the clouds, and it's sparkly, and her hair is pink and has tinsel, and it's actually gold tinsel, which is really neat. Also. I don't even remember where I got this pony, but she's in like perfect condition. I'm pretty sure this one's actually rare. I don't really care. I don't really pay that much attention. The thing with me and toys is if something's rare, it means I can't get it very easily and that makes me angry. So if something's rare, I'm not like, ooh, it's rare, cool. I'm like, oh, you know? Um, but I, I thought I remember reading that this one's kind of expensive, but I don't really know or care. But isn't she so cute? This is one of my favorite ones. I don't really like the baby ponies as much to be honest with you, but this one, this one slaps. This one's so pretty. And I actually have the Princess Sparkle, the actual Princess Sparkle, like the big one, who's, this is a European exclusive. I really don't know how I got this one. I just went to a thrift store one day and there they were. And that European exclusive one too, that, that strange colored one. Um, but yeah, I, this one is hilarious to me. She's so gaudy and I love it. Like, <laughs> this is not her mom they are completely unrelated but like isn't she so funny and i love the fiber optic crown mine is missing this um this um saddle i will never be able to find that oh my god i recently discovered she was european exclusive after months of having her because i went through the entire list of g1 ponies from the u.s in order to put my ponies in release order and then that that one and this one I, were never found and i was like what the heck because i knew this one's name was princess sparkle I was like, where is she? So I Googled it and she's like a international exclusive. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> what? So yeah, she's not even on this list. I just had to mention it. This is the one that's on the list. She's usually wearing a dinosaur costume that I have for baby ponies, <laughs> just cause I have a bunch of pony wear. Um, all right, we're to the final three. I feel bad that the top two are both what they are, but it's okay. So number three is Twice as Fancy Dancing Butterflies. Twice as Fancy ponies are just cool. I love when they're different in any way, and these ones are different in such a, like, it's in a way that's, I don't know how to describe it. It's just cool. I love that they have symbols everywhere. I love, this pony is also monochromatic. That's a theme for me. I really like the monochromatic ones. But this one's, yeah, it was really hard for me not to put Pony Bride on the list. I have two Pony Brides. I don't really know which one's which. There's like, one has a different symbol than the other. One's prettier. Like one has a pink symbol and one has little doves. I don't know. But um, Dancing Butterflies is all yellow and she's not just monochrome. She's actually like both, that, that yellow is like identical to the skin color. And I think it's so 
fur? Do ponies have fur? Or is it like hair? What would you call it? I know ponies aren't soft, but it's not, it's not like hair, because they have hair. But it's like, I don't know what you would call it, but I'm just gonna say skin. <laughs> I love the butterflies so much. It's, it's really easy to impress me. It just has to be butterflies or fairies. Um, yellow is actually my least favorite color. I say this a lot, but I really love this pony. She just is amazing. Um, but I know that it's not just that, it, like, this is one of my favorite G3s and she's also monochrome. So it's like, not necessarily, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but she's cool. She's really cool. That, that's that's why she's that high on the list. She's just really cool. I think she's really neat. And she was one of my first G1s as well. Because a lot of my first G1s, I was like not impressed with them. But that one, I was like, yeah. Okay. We're down to the final two. Okay. So number two, I think, is actually my number one favorite. But my number one favorite has nostalgic connection to me. So that's why she's not... That's why she's number one and not this other one. But this is my number... They're tied. I'm just going to say they're tied. I'm tired. <laughs> Um, this is Sweet Dreams? I already forgot. If I'm wrong, I'll put it here. I'm pretty sure it's Sweet Dreams. I love this pony. This is, like, the pony for me. Oh my gosh. So this pony was, like, she, she came with a pack. I actually have the other- oh, actually both these ponies came with packs. Both of them came with party packs. Um, but this is Sweet Dreams. I don't have her wings, but I'm just- I'm gonna make her some, because I make wings for toys. Um, and her hair is great. I think I recently curled it. I can't honestly remember if I curled her if she was just perfect already. And her colors are so cute. She's got a dark pink hair and a green skin. <laughs> it's kind of a blue, but green and pink are my favorite colors together. And she kind of, I know she's more blue, but I don't know. Um, and she has a cat symbol. And it's not just a cat. It's a napping cat with hearts around her face. It's so cute. And she reminds me of like a sandy lion sticker, that cat. It's just so cute. I really like her. And then the other side. And mine is in pristine condition. I found this one at a thrift store. I think the same one on the same day that I found Princess Sparkle. I can't remember. Pretty sure I bought some like actual collector's stuff. Because I got at that thrift store, I got a limited edition G... Three. I got the design of pony blank G3. I got I got like a bunch of interesting stuff that day. Um, but I just isn't this pony so cool? She's cool, right? Like put her on your favorites list. She's amazing. Anyway, number one, I have a huge nostalgic connection to because when I was first when I first started collecting G1s, this was like my favorite, and she's still one of my favorites. I think out of every single My Little Pony that I've ever seen, she has one of the most unique color schemes. I think G1 was instrumental in the unique color scheme like or they they really killed it in the unique color schemes department um and this is the most unique in my opinion i think she's so neat um sorry <laughs> this pony has the exact same hair color as her anyway it's yum yum i love yum yum oh my gosh so all the other flutter ponies are like flower themed other than this one <laughs> but Yum Yum is candy themed and she has this cute little candy symbol on her face. Does Sweet Dreams have that actually? She has hearts, so it's not as obvious, but they're like freckles. She's so cute. I love these two so much. I love you, my little pony. Anyway, um, <laughs> Yum Yum. Okay, I'm sorry about her hair. It used to be in a big bun, but it came down, but it's kind of neat. It's kind of working for me. Um, I think the Flutter Pony molds are just so cute. They remind me a lot of G2 and G4, which are my favorite. Well, G2 is my favorite pony generation. I actually only have two G2 ponies. They're really rare. <laughs> They're really hard to get. Um, but isn't she so gorgeous? I love the purple and this, like, bright eye... Eye attacking yellow color. I don't know. She's just so pretty. Isn't she pretty? Do you love Yum Yum? Just tell me. Comment down below right now if you're here. I love Yum Yum. And with, like, a cool emoji, like a candy. Like the lollipop emoji I really like. With My Little Ponies, these opinions, I don't feel the need to justify to you because I can just be like, this is number one. Okay, bye. I don't know. <laughs> but like, isn't she just great? It's for some things, I can put it in my number one favorite spot and I have a million reasons. But for this pony, it's just like, look at her. She's gorgeous. And she was actually like, um, I used to have like pony OCs, but they were never actually OCs. Like this was one of them. They were just ponies from later generations that I would put in the G4 art style and doodle. 
all over the place. Um, and Yum Yum was one of them, and she was one of my favorite ones. I loved her. I loved you, and I still do. I love you still. Um, that's the nostalgic connection part that I have to her. So I think if I didn't have that with her, this would be number one and this would be number two. But again, I told you that the list positions are kind of arbitrary. This video sucks. I'm really sorry. I've never really talked about my ponies before and I thought it would come naturally to me and it just isn't for some reason. I I, I mean, it, I, I love talking about them, but I feel like I'm in a completely like different playing field than usual. It's kind of different. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know who your top my Little Pony is in general. It doesn't have to be this generation. Wait, actually, no. Tell me who your favorite G1 is. Do not tell me your others because we'll do G2, G3. I can't make a G2 video. I have two. Two G2 ponies. I have literally two of them. I would die for more. They're my favorite ones, but I have two. <laughs> and that's not because I haven't been looking. I've been looking. I just never find them. It's so irritating. But anyway. <laughs> Tell me who your favorite G1s are, if you have any, um, or or just go ahead and comment that my favorites list is Law, because I think it is. Other than the ponies that I don't have, there's several ponies that I don't have that would be on the list. As much as Mimic is overhyped, she's green and has a parrot on her as her symbol, and that's all I need. Like, she's on the favorites list. That's it. Actually, there's no green ponies on this list. Green is my favorite color. Unless you consider this one green, I'm considering her blue. But like green is my favorite color, but like G1 really didn't do anything with the green. And I don't actually have Minty, I just have this Repro one. Um, that one's green. Um, uh, oh, I do like uh, Medley, she's cool. She's green. And then that one's green. That one's green. And that one. And that. But this, she's kind of blue. And I guess this princess here. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot of green ponies, so I think that's why Mimic is so well-liked, is because, like, you don't have any other options if you like green. That's it. Um, anyways, for real this time, <laughs> let me know if you want to see more pony videos, please. I would love to make them. Um, I really do want to talk about my ponies more. I'm just like, I'm nervous. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm nervous. Because, like, I haven't talked about my ponies to you before, so it's scary. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching for real this time. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.